Well, hello everyone. I'm going to be doing another Not Creep Fly Shop tying video. Um, we're going to be tying a fly called the Way Wester. Looks like this. Um, it's kind of an amazing coho fly. They, they catch pretty much anything off the beach. Uh, right now, it's late, late September. So we're all kind of, of getting things, ready for coho, and they're already yeah, here, actually. Like if only I went fishing. More so, Since last year, and I fished, I this hook is a mustad, and, uh, ooh, let's get the number here, S71 SSS, four S's, I don't know. It's the uh, all-round O'Shaughnessy, uh, 2X heavy, 1X long. Anyways, any regular length saltwater hook's good. I'm using some clear mono. Go all the way up and down. Break it off. And I'm going to take some of this amazing yellow, very, very bright yellow polar bear. And I'm going to make, it's basically going to be, can you grab the scissors out there? This fly can either, thank you, can either represent kind of very small squid, if you make it in larger sizes, or uh, most times people are tying it to look like a shrimp. So this would be antennae, or tentacles, or just... Whatever you want. Anyways, so I'm gonna make that just a little bit longer than the entire hook. Tie it in right at the back. A bunch of wraps over. I'm gonna tie it down the whole length of the shank, almost up to the eye, just for extra security and and it'll give a little little color to the body after we put uh, put the body over so that's there like so I'm gonna grab some chartreuse crystal flash six whole strands basically don't have to worry too much about length. They just want to be the longest. The longest fibers of the polar bear. They want to be about that long. Just cut them all kind of slightly different lengths. Spread them out like that. Okay. Now. We are going to tie off Oh, about the re the, well, the rod that you're looking at, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to take some medium mylar tubing. This is very soft, pliable stuff. It's not the stiff stuff because the stiff stuff doesn't work. This is just regular pearl, the, the common stuff. I'm going to take my piece of velcro on a stick and I am going to measure the length of the tail and I'm basically going to unravel this. So I want to do about that much so it's just a little bit shorter than the crystal flash. And obviously the, the length of everything will vary depending on the hook, so just gauge what you think is uh, good for the good for the size of fly you're making. So I'm just gonna slip that over the eye. Stick it all the way down like that. Now I'm going to move that back forward, so I don't know if you can see this, but 
the end of the eye, just behind the eye. That's where I want to cut it. So I'm going to move it forward and then cut it and then move it back to where it was. And then I'm going to very carefully start my thread over again just in behind the eye. So I'm just tying down that that end of the tubing. So do that. Do a little head and then tie off again. This does this does involve having your thread jump around a little bit, but it's it's a pretty simple fly. Pretty simple. So now right in front of the barb, we're gonna start a thread again. So it's just there and I'm just going to do a little bit out of it. Just make a little holder because when we uh, I'm gonna use some clear cure goo. Think the Lord for clear cure goo. Heat epoxy. Anyway, so we're gonna do that just so that the body isn't moving around. So tie off for the third time. Like so now. I'm gonna take some eyes. I was gonna ask you, what do you have for running lines? You, you don't have any? Okay. <laughs> I have. I'm using. I'm using. I'm using. Stick. I'm gonna stick them right over that thread because you want you want the transition from the body to the tail or tentacle or all that crap back there. You want that to be smooth. So if you put the eyes right on that, uh, right on that bunch of thread, it fills that up and makes it look a lot nicer. I can loop them. Squish them on. There now. I'm just gonna grab some brushable clear cure goo. Okay, all right, I remember that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Get a good gob on here. This this thing I use, I realized just go up and down and up and down and up and down. And funny part was, it's like this is a lot. This is a head I made up. A running line I made up like when I used to live in Reno, we fished uh, Pyramid Lake, which, and that was 30 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to live there too, yeah. I used step ladder? Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to just use a milk crate though, because I fell off a step ladder. Well, plus it was easier to carry. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, make sure awesome. you get it that nice was, and level. I kind of like to fish too much. I, I like yeah. mine to taper. Yeah. Yeah. To get thicker and thicker and thicker as we go towards the eye, because we are we're going for a uh, a shrimp or squidish shape, and they both they both get thicker as you move towards their eyes. Okay, so I got a fairly good coat on there, and as you can see, it's just smoothed everything out, so it looks very very natural. And I'm just gonna cure it. Go all the way around. I it says you know two to five seconds. I give it a little more just because I don't want to take any chances. I don't have any problem with you know going a little bit longer. And there we go. An incredible fly. Nice to fish. Anything you can say about the fly, Courtney? Oh, you're eating. Damn. I'm going to go eat. Anyways, uh, you can find us online at nowcreepflyshop.com or right here on YouTube.
Yeah. Drop by. See you later.